Getting possibly uh, one last time into the LP action. This is KYN, and welcome back to my Let's Play Master 88 Custom uh, Neo Levels. So, uh, out of the eight remaining levels of the pack, uh, I solved half of them in the previous video. So, uh, that pretty much means we have four more levels to go. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think these final four will not be easy in, by any means. But uh, I guess I will see once I um, get to them. But, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, um, come uh, making the traps visible in um, WTF twenty six. Um, yeah, uh, there were a couple of pretty good ones. Yeah, in the last video as well. Um, yeah, WTF twenty six itself was uh, is not that bad at all. Uh, it's a pretty decent though. Just um, the traps need to be visible. And again, uh, I had to add a part of the video out just because uh, there was one part of it I didn't really like because it. Kind of made made it sound like I was accusing the author here, but um, uh, when I when it's actually the load that I should be attacking, but um, but in any case, yeah, I did apologize for it, but uh, part of it did get taken out, yeah, when I edited it, edited and stuff. But anyway, yeah, it's like I said, um, yeah, not a bad load by any means, just uh, the quality suffers because of the hidden traps, and most of the new Olympics community will uh tell Master eighty eight the same thing. So um, yeah, I'm not alone in in regards to that. And um, just to be clear, though, I, and for the record, um, I don't mind the occasional hidden trap, but uh, there was just too many of them, yeah, for my liking. Yeah, as an, as a result, I kind of dislike the load there. But um, uh, but minus the hidden traps and everything, yeah, it was a pretty decent load. So, um, yeah, there you have it. But anyway, um, getting pretty close to the end now. So um, let's see how many more loads can be solved now. Alrighty, next up, WTF27, all in one group, 20 lemmings, 16 to be saved, and a time limit of 4 minutes. Okay, uh, something tells me that going to the right exit is the way to go, but let's see though. Let's go. Only one builder? Okay, so yeah, that obviously rules out the left exit then. And no bashers or miners. Oh wow, diggers are are our only digging destructive skill. Okay, so yeah, that would mean that um, this entrance will have to get all climbers done. Well, actually, maybe after digging to contain them, and then same thing with the middle entrance. Okay, uh, and we also have floaters, so. Maybe they'll use as delay purposes or something. Oh, and we're also allowed to lose up to four here. Um, I don't suppose it's possible to like <laughs> get through the those traps there, but they are very fast triggering ones though. So let's go ahead and. Big digger pits for these entrances. Is he gonna get punctured by the other side? No, he will not, okay. Um Okay, so if I have to write. Um Increase the release rate at some point, or rather, max it out. Nope. There we go. Okay, now we can max up the release rate again. Oh, but that digger's gonna keep on going though. Right, right, I did not take that into account. Yeah. 
then I think we can go ahead and max it out again. Uh, wait, hold on. There is no reason to make a dig pit here. Or, what am I doing? Uh, let me see. So with 20 of them is in three entrances, that means one of them would spit out six and then the other two should spit out seven lemmings. Let's go ahead and max out the release spray here. Next one, WTF28, Lemmings Express Line Trinity, 80 Lemmings 80 to be saved, and time limited 3 minutes. Oh gosh, what are you doing here with a repeat again? Of this low. Oh, and more gaps to go through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So there's just enough builders for each gap. Okay, um... Okay, and this might not even be fun to execute at all. Um... I just need some 
benefit of getting some lemmings over here. Let's go. Maybe that's the reason why we would need more workers. too. Well, that spells trouble. So, um, it seems that we would need, um, maybe we don't go over all the gaps done. Wait a second. It's probably a lot easier than I'm making it out to be. Just make a builder wall. Thank you. 
There we go. now. Did I release them on time, though? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Okay. This was a pretty good one. Oh, and I unlocked a talisman. Nice. <laughs> Alrighty. Penultimate load. WTF-29. The Frozen Inferno. 80 lemmings, 78 to be saved. And time limit of 5 minutes. Okay. A unique level here as well. Ooh. Only 9 floaters. Yikes. Okay, it's very clear that we need to come up from above so that we can, like, pass through here. Ooh. This does not look easy. Um, Are the, the bottom entrances the safe ones? Nope, there's spot hide as well, okay. Um... We have 15 miners, so wow. Okay, maybe these are the things that we're supposed to use to like get up to um, save the entrances from splatting. This is against some mine. Although, here we could probably save this one by just building from the ground level. I could like um, adjust the floater assignments, timing of the, uh, those assignments so that um, I can um, get the spacing and timing I need to get this to work. Okay, now let's see though. Yeah, perfect. One builder is enough. The dog's version of the shield be coming around the map is probably one of my favorites. I think the Genesis version is probably a close second. Oh. 
Now, would this be enough? No, not quite, okay. Mining will have to do though. Not sure if I would like that. And we have five builders remaining as well. Um. Go smart. Oh, right. as well. Is there any saving this guy though? Whoop, right. Oh. Yeah, and I can turn him back with the builder. Okay, this one wasn't too bad. Okay, and uh, lose one solution as well. Definitely looks difficult, but uh, it's not like super hard though. And time isn't too much of a problem.
Alrighty, and the final load to round off, off the entire thing. WTF dirty. Lemmings revolution. Ten lemmings tend to be saved, and the time limit is seven minutes. Okay. So let's see what the final level has in store. Let's go! It's time to beat final level. Let's go! Revolution at the top. Um, let's see. Okay, from the looks of things, this does not look easy. And we need to and we need to save everyone. Um Hmm, what is the best way to get up to the exit? Um something tells me that it will probably be right here. Yeah, so maybe like setting up a camera and then doing some digging over here. Okay, but the rest of the law though. Okay, um so some of the crap we have to go down here. Uh we have five floaters and five climbers. So half of them are climbers, half of them will be floaters, I guess. Oh, and we have a nine and release rate. Oh. Master AD Master eighty eight did get the special track to work. Okay, that's pretty fascinating. I wonder what this one is called. I don't think I ever heard this one before, but I could be wrong. At least I don't ever remember any there being any kind of like music tracks coming with the download. Um Uh, not again. Okay. Let's go to turn around. So that we can see off this gap. Okay. That's a lot of dodging with them you need to do, though. Um... One, two, three, four... Um... Some of the climbers out. Yeah, just try to do some of the preparation work here. Or maybe not. Okay.
Um, that's not going to be pretty. And then again, we could probably just, um, stop them. This bar here that doesn't seem high enough, though. Um. There's the basher there, a basher there. Um. Let's see though. Oh. 
Yeah, but uh, then we still get into this whole mess though. Um... Um... I honestly can't say I'm the fan of this track. Yeah, and I'm out of miners and stuff too. See where else we can like save some skills. Hmm. 
I wonder. Gone to the flame drawer. Still too high for them. Yeah, and we only had two voters at this point. Hmm. Um. Yeah, we have a lot of diggers available though. See, uh, where were some of the digging destructive skills I used here? Yeah, I used the miner right there. Then another one there. first. Oh. 
It does use more builders though, unfortunately. <laughs> That's really the big problem there. It uses more builders than I would like it to. And now it would be necessary to send out that climber as well. Okay, um. Again, one, two, three, four. No, oh, why don't we save a builder by making a builder wall instead? might work out better now. Yeah, at least I hope it does. Yeah, I'm gonna stretch out the builders here so that we don't uh, use too many of them. Is that so up lower now, though?
Okay, this time we have deep go to work with for the end. So it might work out a whole lot better. Maybe. Oh yeah, it worked out a whole lot better. Alrighty, and there we go. And with 41 seconds to spare as well. Okay, uh, the post text here is a bit like messed up because uh, a lot of it got cut up and everything. I'm gonna guess you are pro and beat all 120 main levels, Master 88, Neo Lemix. Well, I could always like open up the Neo Lemix editor and see what it says. And I unlock the talisman. It's probably for like beating low, but I'm not sure. Okay, so with the completion of WTF um, 30, that brings us back to the first low, which is LOL1. Alrighty, so um, that concludes another LP of a loving slower pack that I've completed. And um I gotta say, this one was a pretty good one. Uh but it especially got very interesting and really good. Um starting with the uh penultimate rank. Um the last two ranks were pretty good themselves. Um like solid for the most part. Um a lot of the repeats here are uh kind of pointless in my opinion just because of the fact that um I was able to use the same solution on some of the later uh repeats uh as I did in the original but the Ones that were in the um, last two ranks, yeah, they were definitely not pointless at all because um, uh, the solutions were definitely different from um, from the originals and some of the uh, first or second repeats of it. Um, overall, I would have to rate the difficulty as maybe easy, hard. Um, there are definitely some tough nuts in here, but um, um, even some of the uh, first two ranks, um, there was the occasional or rather the odd um, 
hard level here and there, but um, for the most part, I would say easy hard because a lot of these levels, um, especially in the first two ranks, um, you were pretty much free to like carve out whatever solution you wanted. And um, I do like the diversity and the variety in the um, uh, level ideas and the layouts, though. Yeah, so that definitely gets some bonus points. And um, yeah, a lot of these levels were uh, were great as well. Um, it's like um, some of the um, ones that are open ended, and some of the ones that aren't as open ended. Um, yeah, there was a pretty good mix of both great ones and not so great, but. Um, uh, some of them were a bit too fiddly for my liking, though. Um, especially like uh, the ones that have that need a lot of repeated um, skill assignments. Yeah, of the same skill. Yeah, I'm generally not a fan of those, but uh, that's just me personally. Uh, but anyway, yeah, as a quick overview of the pack here. Yeah. Uh, so L O one, L O L one here. Uh, pretty nice little start of the pack. Um, it's very similar to Fun One in some ways, such as the fact that it's a tutorial. Level, but here it tutorializes the floater skill rather than the, than the digger skill, and also you have ten lemmings, and but you you only need to save one of them, so they they share that together. And then LL two, another pretty good one here, yeah, and a very nice builderless one. Um, and I love builderless levels myself. And then uh, LL three, pretty good one here as well. Um, uh, not too hard here, yeah. Just need to know how the one way wall works. And then L O four, yeah, nothing too hard here either. Um, and then L O five, yeah, you have a lot of skills available, so um, shouldn't give anyone problems. And then L O six, yeah, this and um, pretty much like all the repeats after that. Um, they aren't like really worth it in my opinion, just because of the fact that I was able to use the exact same solution, yeah, in all of them. Uh, but. For the original, yeah, this one was is a pretty good one. Uh, L O L seven, yeah, bomber tutorial, I guess. Uh, just uh, keep bombing until you make a safe drop. Uh, L O L eight, yeah, free to carve out your own solution here. Yeah, due to the skill set. Uh, same thing with L O L nine, yeah, free to carve your own solution. Uh, L O L ten, uh, back to like um, maybe the um, it's an increase in difficulty a bit just because of the fact that you don't. Have that many diggers or miners, but even that, yeah, there's still plenty of skills here, so with or at least in the other ones, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And then LO11, yeah, nearly the same as LO1, just um, you need to do a little more, um, than just float just because you have more lemmings than the number of floaters. Uh, LO12, yeah, free to carve out your own solution here. Uh, LO13, yeah, it's another repeat here. Um, this one, yeah, it's just pretty much go over the top and then um, get down um, close to the far right side there. Uh, LO14, yeah, not really worth it in my opinion. Yeah, it's kind of pointless because you can essentially use the exact same solution here as in the original. Uh, LO15, uh, pretty nice one here, but yeah, you can severely shortcut this one. Uh, but in any case, yeah, just because you have a lot of skills available here, yeah, you're pretty much free to carve your own solution. But if you are aware of uh, turning on steel, then yeah, you can quickly beat the low. Uh, LL16, another uh, any way you want it. And then LL17, another repeat here. Yeah, just uh, two less of each skill, I think. Yeah, but even that, yeah, it doesn't increase the difficulty significantly. Yeah, and L O eighteen another repeat here, but uh, just without bombers. But uh, you do have a lot of the digging destructive skills. Yeah, in order to make a safe drop. And then L O nineteen free to carve your own solution. L O twenty same thing here. Then L O twenty one same thing here. And then L O twenty two it's another repeat. Uh, but yeah, you could do the exact same thing as in the original. Yeah, you are aware of the shortcut of turning on steel. And then LO23. Um, it's pretty much in any way you want it as well. Yeah, so it's not that much different from the original. Uh, LO24. Nothing different from the original either. LO25. Yeah, somewhat different from the original. 
Um, looks difficult, but it's really not. Yeah, especially given the fact that you you only need to say one here. Uh, LL twenty six. Yeah, free to card your own solution here as well, since you still have a lot of skills available, despite the fact that it's a bit more reduced. And then LL twenty seven. Yeah, free to card your own solution. LL twenty eight. No, this repeat isn't worth it. Yeah, you can use the exact same solution as in the original, and uh, uh repeat after that. Um, there was another repeat, right? Yeah, I think there was. Uh, LL twenty nine. Yeah. Um, looks difficult, but um, it's generally difficult just because of the fact that the lizard trap triggers extremely fast. But uh, yeah, if you are aware of traps being only being able to kill uh, one lemming at a time, yeah, it can't kill another lemming while it's busy. Then yeah, compression is generally the way to go here. But at the same time, you do have enough builders to build over each of the trap triggers. So there's that too. And then LL30, yeah, yet another repeat of this. But um, again, yeah, you could just use a shortcut, turning on steel. Okay, and then YOLO. YOLO1, yeah, not really worth, worth it either. It's really the exact same solution. You just need to deal with the added challenge of the 99RR. And then... Uh, Yellow 2, I would definitely say this is uh, kind of a step up in difficulty, but um, um, it's a pretty good one, though. And then Yellow 3, yeah, this one is definitely a step up in difficulty as well, because the skill set is significantly reduced. Uh, but still a pretty good one. And then Yellow 4, yeah, not too different from the original. Uh, just need to do things slightly different on the for the top entrances, um, but at the same time, in the skill set is pretty wide, so you're free to carve your own solution. And then Yolo Five, yeah, not that much different from the uh, first repeat. Yeah, just need to um, finish on time. Yeah, which seems to be the main challenge here. And then Yolo Six, yeah, and kind of like another bomber tutorial, you might say. Yeah, since there's only bombers available. Uh, it's pretty much like a remake of um, Smile If You Love Lemming slash uh, Perseverance. Yeah, just with some terrain changes, I guess. And uh, Yellow 7. Yeah, um, you could try to use compression here, but um, uh, I didn't get to work, I think, so I just built over the trap triggers. And then... Um, Yellow 8, yeah, you can't really use the exact same solution as you'd have in the uh, previous versions. Yeah, one of them has to take a low detour. Uh, Yellow 9, free to carve out your own solution, given the skill set. Yellow 10, you can still carve your own solution here. But uh, the skill set is still a bit uh, more reduced than last time. Yellow 11, same thing, free to carve out your own solution. Uh, Yellow 12, Pretty much free to carve out your own solution here as well. Uh, YOLO 13. Um, it's a very nice two of everything skill set. Um, can be a little challenging, but um, it's really all about knowing. Well, here, uh, you don't really need to like um, release the crowd um, along with the worker at the same time. So um, no, it's not too difficult. Just need to know how to contain them and everything while letting one go on ahead to do the work. Uh, Yellow 14, this is definitely one of my favorites, uh, especially uh, with the uh, whole assigning everyone a floater part, uh, taking it out. Yeah, then it would be a whole lot better. But uh, the low, it's, it's always pretty good. Just um, um, the uh, repeated floater assignments manually isn't really necessary, in my opinion, especially as you can make uh, the hatches pre-assigned, um, a pre-assigned floater one. But yeah, it is a pretty good one. I really like it. Uh, YOLO 15. Uh, yeah, this this version is definitely a step up in difficulty from the previous ones. Um, yeah, you only have one way, well, two ways to move down, but uh, you only have one bomber, and then the other one's a digger. So you really need to think about how in the world can you get to the exit with just the skills you were given. So pretty nice one there. Uh, YOLO 16. Yeah, this one... It's a pretty good one. I also like this one, but uh, it reminds me more of um, 
postcard for, for Lemonland instead of the uh, I Have a Cunning Plan one, <laughs> ironically, despite what the low title says. And then Yellow 70, um, it's pretty akin to the um, what used to exist in Neo Limits, the uh, Frenzy gimmick, which uh, doesn't allow you to pause. So this level could definitely work out as one, except um, here you also need to like relax the save requirement because, um, um, yeah, no matter how fast your reflexes are, um, I don't think it's possible to like catch everyone, especially with the 99 release rate. But in any case, you don't have that problem here, so therefore you can you're free to pause and um, just um, assign a floaters as you please. Yeah, as the limits come out. Uh, yellow eighteen, yeah, um, it's definitely more difficult, yeah, than the other earlier versions because of the two of everything in six skill types. But uh, it's a pretty good one. Yeah, this is another good one. Uh, yellow nineteen, yeah, I tried to go for a save all here, but after a while, I just got first year and gave up because, um, yeah, because then you have to con um deal with the um whole teleporter overloading and everything, or ra or rather um try to like not make it overload, but um. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, but I could be wrong though. It might be possible to save everyone. Uh, Yolo twenty. Yeah, this time it's uh, not a repeat, but like um, rather than two levels, you have more levels to deal with here. But uh, it's still possible to just use the shortcut turn on steel though. Uh, Yolo twenty one. Yeah, it's another one of those. Yeah, just um, uh, make the drop safe. Yeah, with the skills you are given. And you definitely have more than enough to do so. Uh, Yellow 22. Yeah, it's definitely different from all the other appearances that is low. Um, so I guess this one would be the um, one to uh, be worthy of inclusion. And the other ones could just be scrapped. Uh, especially with the ones that just, just have you keep digging. Yeah, until you reach the exit and keep everyone safe. Uh, Yolo 23, yeah, you're still free to carve out your solution here, but um, it is significantly reduced, though, so um, um, but in any case, yeah, it's it still grants plenty of freedom to like, do as you please to solve it. Yolo 24, um, yeah, pretty good level here. Um, I especially love to turn around here. Uh, just to repeat a comment and flow of silence, not so much. But uh, again, that's just me personally. But it is a pretty good low end concept, though. Uh, Yolo 25, yeah, not that much different, different from the original, other than the significantly reduced skill set. But um, uh, it's not that much different. And uh, Yolo 26, yeah. Um, really, the only difference here is that uh, there's an outer trap here that increases the difficulty. But um, yeah, I would still say that it isn't really like worth it for, of inclusion. Uh, especially given the uh, earlier appearances at this low. Although, maybe this version is good enough just because of the fact that it's harder than, than the other ones. Uh, Yellow 27. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely free to carve out your own solution here, but uh, actually, no, 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 not really. Yeah, because of the extremely tight time limit. Yeah, you just have to know about um, building full um, staircases versus canceling and then reassigning the builder. Yeah, being faster than the uh, former. But this is a pretty good one. But uh, quite honestly, with the rapid fire skill assignments, yeah, I'm not so much a big fan of that. But um, yeah, but just for this um, concept and this low, yeah, it was a pretty good one. And then uh, Yellow 28, yeah, you have a lot of skills here, so you got to carve your own solution. Uh, Yellow 29. Yeah, just need to be aware of uh, digger canceling out another. And then you pretty much have that. And then Yellow 30. Yeah. Uh, bash your digger staircases. Yeah. And that's kind of overdone to death. Yeah, in the custom level scene. Uh, I just seen way too many of those levels. Um, it was certainly a pretty good one when I first learned about it, but. Uh, yeah, it might have been from Mazu Lamps, but um, yeah, I've played so many levels requiring that now, so uh, it's definitely lost its drill. Uh, at least on me, it has. Uh, OMG1, yeah, 
yeah, or rather the OMG rank, this is definitely where things start getting interesting. And challenging, of course. Uh, this was a pretty nice level to start off the rank. Yeah, this one had me stuck for for a long time, but um, it's a pretty good one. Um, but uh, I overlooked the uh, building on top of a of the um, of a um, like um, five or six pixel step. Yeah, for a long time. Yeah, in order to turn the others around so that the worker is left in peace. But it's a pretty good one. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, OMG too. This one can go because this is nothing different from the um other ones. As I've used the exact same solution on every version. Uh, OMG three. This was a pretty nice um increase in the challenge. Yeah, because there it's now one of everything's goes up, and I tend to love one of everything, uh, lows. Uh, OMG four. Yeah. This one isn't really that much different. Yeah, it's just another way of getting down safely or making a safe drop. Yeah, cutting through the lattice until it becomes safe. Uh, Master 88. Uh, ah, Master 88. OMG 5. Uh, this one is a pretty nice challenge. Um, it's almost no different from the um, version before the one lemming one, though. Yeah, it's just uh, more lemmings to deal with. And then OMG six, yeah, the skill set is still somewhat wide, yeah, so that you're free to carve out your own solution. But uh, the other challenge is just finishing on time. And then OMG seven, yeah, this is another pretty good one. Yeah, I like this version a lot, though. Yeah, definitely better than the original. Yeah, as the uh, repeated skill assignments isn't as like extensive. Uh, OMG eight. Um, yeah, really the challenge here is just dealing with the 99 release rate. But other than that, yeah, it's nothing too special. Uh, OMG 9, it's almost like the, uh, original, except there's an outer trap here. Yeah, which really means you can't really assign floors as you, freely as you want. Yeah, you have to sync them as closely, as much as you can, so that you minimize losses. Uh, OMG 10, yeah, definitely harder. Yeah, because of the reduced skill set and also more lemmings to deal with. Uh, OMG 11, um, yeah, uh, this is definitely different from some of the other ones, um, but, um, yeah, uh, it makes you think that, um, they get to make all those, that build, yeah, at the top, yeah, to be flowers as well, but you'll find out that you, um, run out, and so it seems that the answer is to just simply make a platform, although it might be possible to not do it, though. Yeah, as long as you like, just, like uh, just turn all the others around. Yeah, for those that go further to the right on the top. Uh, OMG twelve. Yeah, this one was a pretty difficult one. Yeah, this one took me a while to get solved. Uh, although knowing myself, I probably overcomplicated the solution a little bit here. Um, uh, but in any case, yeah. Um, I think there were definitely some things that uh, weren't really necessary, though. So therefore, yeah, I. We have to say I probably just made it harder than I needed to. Uh, OMG thirteen. Um, yeah, this one was a pretty good one in that like um, it was pretty difficult to decide who to get the floater to. Yeah, which entrance. And then uh, even after you decide, yeah, then it's still a difficult level to work out. Yeah, how to best go about it? So do you save both entrances uh, from further spotage and before you lose too many? And then, OM, OMG14, yeah. Uh, the only hard part here is just turning two lemmings to the left to like prepare some of the work. And then also patching up the uh, tiny gap, yeah, before the pole, yeah, inside the um, tight row area. But other than that, yeah, it's a pretty nice one. Nice one, in my opinion. Uh, OMG15, it wasn't as bad as I thought, yeah. Again, just use the fact that lemmings turn on steel. And then bash him through before anyone turns around. Uh, OMG 16. Yeah, uh, pretty good one, which is minors. Uh, definitely not as tedious, though. But um, uh, just um, long due to how much terrain that needs to be um, destroyed. Uh, OMG 17. This one is definitely one of my, one of my favorites. I really love the uh, going over the top uh, solution here. 
Uh, pretty much the only hard part is just containing the crowd while the workers uh, do the work. But um, yeah, this was a pretty good one. I really like it. Uh, OMG 18. This is this is another pretty good one as well. Uh, certainly the time limit is the main challenge here. So um, just find a way to like beat the clock here. Uh, o OMG 19. I'm pretty sure this is like a back row or something. As I didn't quite do what the low title says here. Uh, OMG 20. Nothing really special here. It's not like difficult at all. Just uh, hard because of the time limit. Uh, OMG 21. Yeah, I've seen this uh, too many times now as well. Just bouncing a minor with blockers. Uh, OMG 22. Pretty difficult one. Um, yeah, it it looks like it's not that much of a problem, but it actually is. Yeah, but I think the key here is just finding the right RR so that uh, you get to each gap. And uh, the other levels that are coming in yeah, aren't too close to them. And then OMG23, yeah, uh, free to carve out your own solution here, but um, yeah, it seems that the um, intention is for the left exit, not the right one, which will come later. And then OMG24, yeah, definitely reminds me of Crazy 4 from Oh No More Lemmings, and a pretty good one at that too. Yeah, this was definitely one of my favorites as well. Uh, OMG25, it wasn't as bad as I thought, um, but uh, you do have enough skills to go through each of the poles here. Yeah, pretty much the only difficult part is just getting one, everyone down safely. But um, I'm not sure if landing on top of, on the tip of each star, yeah, in order for them to survive, yeah, uh, is intended though. Uh, OMG 26, yeah, you have a lot of skills here, so you're free to carve your own solution. So it's definitely a nice breeder though. Uh, OMG 27, this one was pretty difficult. Yeah, finding the most efficient route was not easy at all. And especially with a very limited skill set. Okay, OMG28, not as difficult as the previous one, but uh, it's still challenging enough. Yeah, that um, some problems can arise. And DN definitely reminds me of this, uh, of Save Me from the original Linux. Yeah, due to the one pixel landing on the platforms, and then you have to build a block. Uh, OMG29, a bit too fiddly for my liking. But then again, I might have overcomplicated over the solution, especially since I did have some builders left over. So it wasn't really necessary to be very precise with uh, building over the trap near the exit. And then OMG30, this was a pretty hard one. Yeah, so definitely worthy of the position as the final level of the rank. Uh, pretty good one, but yeah, it was pretty hard. And then the final rank, WTF. Yeah, once again, uh, Digger Rush's staircase is done to death. So... Not too amused by this one. <laughs> uh, WTF2, nothing too much different from the past versions past versions of this low as well, except for the fact that time is really tight here. And then WTF3, uh, yeah, um, Builder Minor Staircase combo, um, yeah, that I've seen too many times as well, except here I was a bit of a dummy in the way I was doing it. And that is actually easy to do it coming from the right. Uh, WTF4. Yeah, this one was a pretty hard one because of the time limit. Yeah, I love the solution and everything. And it kind of reminds me of that one. Uh, Moby Lems though. Yeah, in the extra rank. In the bonus rank, you might say. Um, the solution is quite close, I think. But uh, yeah. Um, I'm assuming yeah, I could have saved some more time here by canceling the builders early. But it's a pretty good one, though. Uh, WT5, nothing too special here other than the hardest part is just rescuing the left uh, hatch. Uh, WT6, oof. This one was not fun to play at all, in my opinion. Yeah, I just wasn't a, a big fan of the uh, rapid-fire skill assignments. Yeah, in order to save the hatches as quickly as you can, because you're not allowed to lose anyone. But uh, it, it wasn't a nice level to, like, Demonstrate a nice concept of um, of being quick, yeah, with the building and everything. But although it's already been shown, yeah, at least once. Uh, earlier in the pack before that one though, and then WTF seven. Yeah, um, this one, 
um, you kind of have to use a combination of turning on steel and also uh, taking the detour with the rest. Yeah, while keeping them safe. Yeah, until the work is done. It's a pretty nice one, though. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, it was the final appearance of Lo. Um, WTF8, yeah. Pretty much in any way you want it here. Here, I think I could have made things easier by coming from the right side instead. So, once again, <laughs> kind of made things harder by going from the left. WTF9, this was a pretty hard one. Um, yeah, just getting down safely and then just um, um, making the route for the uh, crowd and everything. Yeah, it's definitely a hard one. And then time is also a bit tight too. Uh, WTF10, this was definitely one of my favorites. Um, yeah, it's a really, really good one. Yeah, despite it being a repeat, but um, yeah, it's a really, really nice one. I really like this one. WTF alone. Oh, this one was pretty hard. Uh, but again, yeah, I I did check uh, Master 88 solution here, and yeah, there was one spot there that I failed to realize that you could go go through uh, multiple obstacles with just one skill. Yeah, I never realized that in the solution, and so I resorted to a very obscure trick. Um, that I'll be perfectly fine if if it was later patched out, because um, it's pretty much something that almost no one would think of to try. Especially uh, beginners. And it's very, very counterintuitive as well. Um, WTF12. Uh, pretty nice one, but can also be a bit fiddly to do. Um, but uh, this level has taught me that like, uh, you don't need to um, turn lemmings around to make another bridge. Yeah, so that the top entrances su survive. It's pretty much all about delaying them appropriately and then just maxing out the release rate at the right time so you don't lose uh so so that you don't run out and then wtf 13 yeah uh almost the same as the original except here you have way less numbings and um so really it's just um turn them all around and then just deal with um not overloading the teleporter wtf 14 yeah this one was a pretty quick solve um it's definitely possible to uh, go up the sides here, which is exactly what I did. Although I guess technically, if Master Eighty wanted to, uh, he could always like block uh, the sides with more steel. I guess. Uh, WTF fifteen. Yeah, I uh, I also saw Master Eighty solution here, and yeah, I overcome it overcomplicated the solution here, so <laughs> I definitely brought it all on, on myself. So that's why it gave me so much trouble. Um, and then WTF-16, yeah, this one wasn't very hard either. Um, nearly one shot this low. Um, it's um, not quite a repeat, just because there's significant um, uh, layout differences here. But um, yeah, it's a pretty nice one, though. Uh, WTF-17, another pretty good one. The only hard part is just timing the uh, climber so that you block to turn the builder uh, three times here. But other than that, yeah. It would also be a better low if um, there were way less lemmings because um, 50 climber assignments, uh, that's just not to my liking. Yeah, it would definitely work out better if it was, say, 15 lemmings instead. Uh, WTF-18, yeah, uh, this one has also been overdone to death as well. Uh, except, um, I think rather than builders, um, walkers were using their place instead, but, um, yeah, the skill, I mean. But, yeah, I honestly was not a big fan of this low, just because, yeah, there was just way too many rapid-fire skill assignments here, yeah, for my liking. It, and it got way too repetitive. Yeah, there's just way, it just requires it way too many times. Yeah, and the time limit can also be extremely frustrating to uh, finish on time, too. And then that's WTF-19. Yeah, the solution is just only slightly different from the uh, original, and I kind of like this one better, too. Yeah. Uh, but both versions are pretty good, though. Uh, WTF-20. Yeah, there isn't really any much difference yeah, from the original. Just the blockers have been replaced with miners, mostly. You just need to be aware that a miner can cancel out another. Yeah, if uh, you done it, do it at the right time. Uh, WTF21, definitely one of my favorites here. Yeah, I really love Builderless Lows. And just like the original, yeah, the left half is more difficult than the right half. So, same thing there.
but a really good one. I really like this one. Uh, WTR22. Uh, definitely harder than the original, but um, yeah, at the same time, um, it was before I realized yeah, that I could have made things much easier um, so that it doesn't have to be very fitly on timing and everything. So this one was an okay low, yeah. It definitely reminds me of a Lemmings plus one low, though. That required the exact same thing, I believe, in also the repeat. Because I think it had the original and the repeat as well. I would have to check that. And then WTF23, yeah, this skill set is significant, significantly reduced from all the other versions. But I think you're still free to carve out your own solution here, though. Because I'm pretty sure there are multiple ways to go about it. Uh, WTF24, this was this one was a pretty good one. A very satisfying one to beat the clock. Uh, I was definitely doing things wrong, yeah, when I wasn't multitasking, yeah, all the, the entire way, but, um, uh, it's a really good one, though. Yeah, so, definitely one of my favorites. And then WTF25, same thing. Yeah, one of my favorites as well. The hardest part was just getting someone to go over the top. Yeah, in order to go through the final one-way wall. So, how to figure out how to do that. Not easy at all, but um, it's a pretty good one. And then WTF26, like I said before, yeah, make the chops visible. Yeah, uh, the others in the Neo Levels community would definitely appreciate uh, that being done, but um, um, yeah, the lower idea is pretty good, but like, um, yeah, just the hidden chops, yeah, but brings down the quality. Uh, WTF27, this one wasn't as bad as I thought. It was just really uh, like, um, release the lemmings at the right time so that you don't lose too many. And, uh, yeah, it's possible to save everyone but one, so, um, there's that. And then, WTR28, yeah, uh, just build a wall for the win here. <laughs> and then, just release them at the right time. Yeah, so you don't win out of time, which I apparently did. Um, but, uh, yeah, this one will probably be the most worthy. Yeah. For the inclusion in the back. And then the other two can probably go. Yeah, even though they are pretty good ones themselves too. Uh, WTF29. Yeah, this one wasn't as difficult as I thought. It was really just dealing with the spot hatches at the very beginning. And being very quick about it. Uh, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, and it was a very nice lose one solution as well. Yeah, and then finally, uh, WTF30 to finish off the entire back. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, challenging low, but um, uh, definitely a very nice low to finish the track to. But um, yeah, honestly, the special track that was chosen here, I wasn't too big of a fan of that one. Or rather, I'm not too big of a fan of it. Um, maybe it might be the same with some of the others as well, but uh, I'm not entirely sure, though. But, uh, you know, it's one of those subject subjective things. Yeah, we don't always all like the same thing. Yeah, we have our likes and dislikes. But yeah, so there you have it. That is all the LP of uh, Master 88 Custom Neo Lowell's. And so that wraps up and concludes another um, LP of mine. So uh, if you've been watching since the beginning, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you all around for uh, future LP slash, slash projects that I do. Uh, I will probably take... Um, day break or two before I do another one. Um, yeah, and I'm very certain that I know what's going to be next. It's going to be um, Casual Lemmings 2.0. So it's basically Casual Lemmings for new formats, Neo Lemmings. There's also an old formats one, but um, I would just be doing that one off camera and pretty much only the chore rank yeah, on camera, as I promised Nintendo Addict that I would uh, take it on. So it should definitely be something to watch, yeah, when I do that. And also just giving his pack some uh, liking and and a bit of love too. Yeah, I think it's mostly been ignored for um for a long time now. Um yeah, it definitely got a lot of attention back when it was released, but um uh nowadays not so much, but um yeah, I uh, but I promised the author there that I would um take it on and um give um um, the designers some um, entertainment to to watch and everything. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this um, LP, and I'll see you guys all around and have a great day.